WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, host of the Tiger Technicians Hour that comes straight up after this noontime update. So, yeah, TFNN, we're looking at the Dow down 25,953, down 31. See these little candles? Four days ago, a little candle makes a, a recovery um, high right there at 26,000. Uh, that was 241. Following that little doji candle, that looks like a plus sign. Another plus sign yesterday, maybe another plus sign today. I look at this and I'm looking at it as stalling motion. It's almost like a really big doji candle in the end. And we're going to be following this real closely. There's just a really good chance that next week we start to see uh, somewhat lower prices with uh, the high uh, of made four days ago, the high for at least the short term. That's the way I'm looking at it. MACD is finally just crossed negative. First time since January the 3rd when it broke to the upside. Stochastic still good at 86%. Now let's just run these other numbers. The, the S&P, actually the S&P has just been a, a tad at times stronger than the, and the Dow. Um, it is at 27.89, down two and a half. Same thing, three little candles after that recovery high at the 28, is that 13, I believe? Yeah, 28.13.49 level four days ago. Watch out because a move in the Dow of 150 points down over the next two days will say, yep, we've set up a short-term top, a move of about, I, I would say 18 points in the S&P says the same thing. Let's just run these quickly before we go uh, to the break. Uh, the QQQ is down a little bit. This is holding a little bit better, better green candles, but it's the same same thing with the MACD and Stochastic. The IWM um, is down 25 cents at 157.07. We're watching these really closely, beginning to run out of upside energy. Doesn't mean to say you can have a, a little spike to the upside, but I think that we're looking at more of the weight to the downside. Let's go to gold. Gold, gold was down when I last looked. It's down four and a half. At 13.16, silver's also down, but the dollar is not rallying commensurate with the pullback, but it is up a little bit in the dollar right now. Now it's a little bit down. It's down three, three ticks at 96.12. I'll be discussing a couple of things as we go into this next, the next show. That's my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour. Stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Basil Chapman signing off. See you in, in a few minutes.